Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Earthly Headlines. Uh, today we're going to talk about a region of, of Russia, and they're calling this the Birdman of Siberia. The sensational find in the heart of Russian, uh, part of Russia uh, baffles scientists. So this picture is really interesting because it looks creepy. It looks like something that is in like a sci-fi horror uh, type movie. And I thought it was really interesting because it has to do with this area in Russia near the Altai Mountains. And as you may or may not know, there's a, there was a ton of stuff going on in the Altai Mountains, one of which being uh, the Denisovans were, are heavily speculated to have either passed through there or stayed there for uh, an extended period of time. Neanderthals, the same thing. And also, of course, Homo sapiens as well. So there are a lot of different scattered cultures there, one of which is the Odinov culture which dates to between about the 18th to 16th centuries BC. So anywhere in the range of like 1500 to 2000 BC. And it's heavily speculated that they, that it's probably older. It's because uh, they're named after the settlement Odino in the basin of lower Ishim. So here it is right here. This is all a basin here. So it would have been a g back in those days and even further and probably into the Pleistocene. A very suitable place for a settlement of, of Homo sapiens, among other uh, types of humans. And as you can see, it's uh, it's part of the the uh, greater part of Siberia, and it's really close to Kazakhstan and Mon Mongolia. So you have a very interesting blend of cultures going on there, and subsequent cultures have spawned out of there, such as uh, Mongolians, other type of steppe people. Uh, the Scythians and and from the Scythians are just a ton of other uh, groups such as like the Sumerians and or Chimerians, I think that's how you say it and uh, other other um, nomadic uh, peoples these steppe peoples so um, anyway what happened was uh, they found these beaks inside a 5,000 year old burial so right away it's older than the Odinov culture and um, they found two unique burials uh, that were unearthed at the Ust Tarda site, which is a site within um, this this region here, the Novosibirsk re region, which I think means in Russian New Siberia, but I don't know. Um, maybe not. Maybe that might be something else. This is just uh, armchair linguistics here. Um, so inside one of the, the burials, they found several dozen long beaks and skulls of large birds assembled into something looking like a collar, a headdress, or armor. So I think it's something like this. Um, really, really strange. Uh, again, it seems like something you'd find in a, in a, a sci-fi movie or something or a fantasy novel, and which is why some people have called BS on this. They think it might be like some publicity stunt or... or um, they think that it, it, it was planted there just to drum up some sort of uh, uh, attention, but I don't. I don't think so. I think a lot of people are quick to call BS. Um, I think this is pretty, pretty authentic, just because of what all these um, archaeologists and ethnographists and uh, these scientists involved are saying. Uh, nothing of this kind was ever found as part of the Odinov culture in all of Western Siberia, which uh, Lilia Kobelova says, and. She thinks uh, the, the assumption that it's part of clothing is because the beaks were assembled at the back of the skull along the neck as if it was a collar that protected the owner when he lived there. So that's not new. People wore bear skins. People wore all kinds of different stuff. So it, it makes sense that there would have been a group somewhere around there that, that thought, whatever, for whatever reason, they thought uh, gathering uh, bird parts and adorning themselves with it would give them some sort of uh, ritualistic power or, or something, some sort of superstition around that. And one thing that we do know from a previous episode that I did about um, a golden eagle taming and how Neanderthals and later on... Uh, uh, Mongolian people held the golden eagle in high regard as well. And I guess the the continuity here, the string that's, that, that connects all these different people is this worship of a bird. So um, it's, not out of, it's not unheard of that they would have made something like this. Um, another version is that the beaks numbered between at least 30 and 50 were part of a ritual costume. And this is 
the actual uh, body that they found and it's very in a really peculiar position it looks like his head like, like forward like this he got smashed or something but um, yeah it's, it's just definitely a very intact and surprisingly um, preserved remains and they found uh, another they found a pile of bones here and also another person laying next to that person and then here's uh, uh, Lillian uh, just cleaning the specimen here or uh, the remains here just really meticulous work you can see some of the soil here that they're brushing away you have to be really careful with this stuff because it's fragile it's thousands and thousands of years old so um, they found bronze spectacles as well um, the birds were probably herons or cranes so um, not eagles, not the old golden eagle I was talking about, but still, these are very particular types of uh, birds that have been known to be heralded in other cultures as well, especially the crane. Um, it's not clear how the beaks were attached to each other or to the fabric, as the scientists haven't found mounting holes. Um, they're going to spend a lot of time separating the beaks from everything else to study uh, them. Um... Nava, Navasibirsk, their institute uh, restorers will have to use the finest instruments and the smallest brushes in order to reveal uh, the creation. Um, another, another burial they found close to the Birdman burial was also a double layered grave with two children aged five to ten. Um, underneath them, separated with the wooden overlay, was another skeleton of a grown-up man and a treasure trove of artifacts. So some of the stuff that he found were a pair of spectacles or glasses consisting of two bronze hemispheres and a bronze bridge. Um, traces of organic matter were found inside the hemispheres, which they don't go into detail about the organic matter of whether they dated it or not, but th that would be really interesting to see if they did date it. Um... It might have been a uh, the spectacles might have been uh, part of a mask or some sort of headgear. Um, that's what it would look like. That looks creepy. Oh my goodness, that is scary. Um, and that's how they found it, I guess. Um, or this is like a artistic re uh, recreation of of what it would look like when he died. I don't know, but it's a very peculiar sight anyway. And I think these are the spectacles they're talking about. Um, and they are, they are attributing it to the Odinov culture just because that culture happened to be in the same vicinity and are not as old but near that age. Uh, but it, it's not possessing any hallmarks of the Odinov culture, which, um, which seems like they're known for their pottery, their ceramics, their dishes, their combs. Um, textile prints and that stuff so uh, maybe they are related or maybe it was like the previous regime before the Odinov culture came but um, other stuff they found were five polished crescent shaped stone pendants again used for rituals more unique items that they found um, they must have so because they had all this stuff in their possession they must have been like shamans or some sort of special role in their society they definitely weren't low born um and, uh, yeah, they might have been priests or something like that. And here are some uh, more shots of uh, this, these spectacles that they're assuming were spectacles. And more of the site here. It's all cleaned up. Uh, they did a really good job just cleaning this up. And some people were saying that this is bullshit. This is all fake. This, this doesn't look real. And I'm not a trained archaeologist, so I wouldn't really know, but it doesn't seem like it's bullshit. It seems like it's legit. And this is uh, the burial that they were found. Very interesting stuff, the way everything is laid out. Um, so the Odinov culture is the beginning of the Bronze Age archaeological culture of foot hunters named after the settlement Odino in the basin. I talked about that. The culture is dated between the 15th and two, uh, 2000 BC. And the settlements are situated along the terraces of the rivers and creeks. Again, they recognized the, ge the geography around them and uh, were able to determine what was sig culturally significant and what wasn't, what was sacred, what wasn't. So um, th they had dwellings, but they don't know too much about the dwellings except that they're d dug into the earth. 
Um, and they believe that the Odinov culture rose from e Neolithic forest steppe cultures in the Ishim area. So basically, they think these people came, f they emerged out from somewhere and into um, this basin here and then just sort of branched off. So, anyway, let me know what you guys think about uh, this, um, your opinion on, on these, uh, the Birdman of, of Siberia and, and these uh, surrounding Altai. Um, the Altai Mountains, especially the cultures there, all their similarities. If you know anything about Russian, um, uh, I guess, history in terms of uh, the, its people, the genetics of that going out and, uh, in and out of this place, please let me know. Feel free. If you know anything about the, Ca the Caucasus Mountains or 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 the ancient, ancient Tibetans, Denny Sylvans, whoever, uh, let me know in the comments and um, we'll get some discussion going and I'll talk to you guys later.